Hey, my people. Just stepping into the video really quick. Okay, so this video is sponsored by Keen. Yes, I'm getting sponsored by a, a really great company. And I'm featuring them because they gave me a really cool discount for you guys. It's a link in the description box below for um, a five minute reading for a dollar. So, you know, you can get a five minute reading done by their very talented people on there. They have tarot readers, they have psychics on there. And it's if you need guidance, you know, you have a question, you're at a crossroads, you know, you're experiencing something and you just need that that reassurance that, you know, you're making the right decision or, you know, maybe you're just you're off. You know what I mean? Your intuition's off or whatever it is. You know, we all go through things like that where, you know, you just have a lot on your shoulders and you just need that reassurance from somebody else. And these people are very talented, kind, generous, and they're right there. They're, they're ready whenever you need them. And it's a great website. And like I said, when I was going through something or I was in indecision about something, they were able to bring clarity to me. And I feel very blessed and honored that I'm being able to sponsor them now, so. Okay, so if you're interested and this is calling to you, it's a sign, right? So I believe that things happen for a reason and nothing's a mistake. So you seeing this right now and seeing this video, watching me, it's kind of looping you into the next thing that maybe, you know, your spirit guides, your angels, the universe is guiding you to, you know, get that clarity. I always feel that way, you know, especially, you know, when you're thinking about something and you hear a song and it like answers it for you. Or, you know, you're thinking about something and you're like, man, I'm really bothered. And then a, a video comes on and it's telling you like, hey, everything's OK. You're good. La la. And you're like, what? That That's so weird. So I feel like if this is ringing some kind of bell and you're like, oh, I really need that answer right now. Or, you know, uh, I'm so close to like something. I, I just need that that clarity. Keen is going to help you out with that. I'm telling you, you, just go on there real quick. You could choose whoever you could choose your reader as well. You know what I mean? You can choose whoever it is and, you know, they'll be able to answer your question. Yeah, I know it's a sensitive thing, but yeah, maybe give it a shot. See how you feel. OK, so very clear, right? Everything's good. I'm good. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this really quick. Uh, you know, announcement, little little sponsorship for me and my, my little channel. And thank you guys for supporting me. And like I said, you can definitely um, connect by, you know, phone call or text message. And a keen advisor is online to help you whenever. And you could try them at my link, trykeen.com forward slash opulence okay that's trykeen.com forward slash opulence that's my link that's my personal link that's how you guys can get a discount for that five minute reading for a dollar i mean come on that's like a steal isn't it like hello and everything for that will be in the description box <laughs> below yo i'm not even joking this is so funny but i feel like this is this is a big moment you know, not just for me, but for you guys, because now I'm able to help you guys, like bring more things to you guys, you know, because of my channel and how I'm being seen. And that's because of you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me always. Many blessings to you. Hi, everybody. It's Opland Spiritual. Another reading. Are you guys surprised? Did you guys like the Chinese Zodiac? All right, so that was a little something. You know, I'm very excited. I hope you guys like that. That took a lot of work, like a lot of energy. All right, I hope you guys really enjoyed that because that, that took a lot. Shit. All right, so everything's good. I'm good. Are you guys doing good? What's going on? Let me know. Comment down below. 
But yeah, I just, I want to come on here. I want to say, for, there's a couple things I want to say, like always, right? First thing is, this reading is about love. You know, I got to, I got to give some love out to my, to my people. I love love. I love everything about love. I'm a big love person. If you didn't know, baby, I love all that shit. Um, I'm into, you know, all that stuff like Twilight and, you know, K-dramas, Chinese dramas and like all like love, romantic. That's me. I love that shit. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do a little love cups. One, two, and three. We're going to find out what's going on in love, what's happening. You know, if you don't want to know about love, then maybe this is in your reading, you know. But if you do and you're like, oh, maybe just watch it. Maybe there's something else in there. I don't know. Right. But I want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And, and if you haven't subscribed already, it would really help me out. It would make me so happy. It's a way of supporting me. It's for free. You know, I don't ask anything from you guys with money and stuff like that. But that's like really cool if you could do that for me because it helps me out on here and helps me grow. And I want to grow more and more and more. We're hitting a lot of people here. I appreciate you guys. And yeah, let's get into this. Let's find out what's going on in love, baby. The love bugs. All right. Cup one. These are the decks I'm going to be using, but hold on. Because I'm going to do live shuffling and shit. But what's going on here? Hmm. Something about the moon and stars. Here we go. We're coming back. Oh. Oh, wow. Hold on. All right. So, so definitely someone's walking away. There's like eight of cups here. You could be walking away from a situation. I'm here in a third party situation and you're going towards the sun here. So happiness and healing. Letter V twice here. So there's definitely a victory here. You could be born in Chinese year of the snake. But you're definitely leaving something behind. And it was a long journey here. And you weren't alone this whole time. You could be a Sagittarius as well. Or a Sagittarius is coming towards you. Like very quick energy here. A lot of fire here. But yeah, a lot of communication from spirit. You're going to be hearing about this very soon. I'm hearing within the next eight days, eight weeks. Okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of thoughts going on here. A lot of people talking here. There's a lot of gossip. Chinese ear of the snake. A lot of gossip about love. So yeah, this person is is very faithful here. I'm seeing this man here. <laughs> and he's he's contemplating like, what should I do? Chinese ear of the dog, Chinese ear of the cat, Chinese ear of the goat, Chinese ear of... I said the dog, right? I don't remember. But yeah. Hmm. So it could be a friend of a friend type of thing. Maybe you're going to meet this person through an introduction of a friend. Letter C, letter J, letter H, letter V. It could be happening in like Aries season or this person has a lot of Aries placements. Very interesting. And look, this person has like overflow, overflowing feelings for you and they're wearing some kind of mask. <laughs> this person is not being honest with you like their feelings. I'm telling you, like they're, they're effing not telling you. I'm telling you like right now, they're not. They're not telling you the full story I'm hearing. This person actually, if you know this person, they've been crying over you. I don't know if you guys had like a fight or something, but yeah, this person's been like crying a lot over you. So I'm seeing like, this person has a lot of dreams. They're a big dreamer here. Number two, year of the ox, Aquarius. I'm getting like a lot of Aquarius energy here, like a big dreamer. You know, maybe they didn't know what they wanted before. They met you or saw you or whatever the case may be. I'm seeing Chinese here, the pig and letter J, letter R. Yeah, this person is the type of person that they might have issues, not with commitment, but like grounding things to reality. Like they have all these ideas, like they're pretty good ideas too, but they don't like ground them into reality. So they could be, like I said, like a big dreamer, 
letter H and number seven, you have the horses here. They're very free. This person is a very free spirited person. They don't really, you know, um, hold on a second. Let me get my chair. They don't really like to be in commitments with people, which is very interesting. They don't. They really effing don't. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> but for some reason, they, you know, it's it's your energy. Like, they, they're very attracted to you. You could be Chinese ear of the dog or you have Scorpio placements. They're, they, they see you as someone that's like very mysterious. The 14th, the 17th could be significant. But I see this person reaching out to you. But it's it's going to be like nonchalant. Like, oh, um, hey, uh, <laughs> I heard that you're part of this event that I'm going to or something and like I need to know like how much stuff you're bringing or something it's gonna be like but actually this person like has deep feelings for you or they're very attracted to you but they're not gonna tell you right away and look there's like a little drop right at the the handle here so they're definitely you you definitely have a hold on this person mm-hmm And like and they're not nervous or anything. They're not they're not shy, but they just they don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> Cause you don't tell anybody anything. Like they can't even get information about you because nobody knows. You know, you're the type of person that you keep things to yourself or you're like a mystery, like, you know. Maybe they asked about you at work or something and everybody's like, I don't know. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they're married. I don't know who they hang out with, like, I don't know what they do, <laughs> and, you, and, like, this person's trying to find things on you, but, like, they can't, it's hard, you know, you're a mystery, so I'm seeing you're the pig here, Sagittarius, letter Z, year of the roosters here, a lot of Sagittarius is here, year of the dog, Aries, so this person definitely is very passionate, they want to take a risk on you. And there's something with the moon there. Right? The new moon. Something with the new moon could be significant. I'm also seeing an X here. So for some of you, you got a little X lingering around town here. The linger. I feel like... Yeah, and you have a question mark here. So yeah, they're... There's definitely a question about this. You're questioning this. You're questioning this person or this person's questioning if they should make a move towards you because maybe they feel like you're still attached to somebody else or maybe you still have like that ex around you or something or you still have feelings for that person you used to date. But I am seeing the star here. This is a wish fulfillment. And number three is here. Number one. So you're the rat. You're the tiger. 31 could be significant the 31st or you're 31 years old letter l letter k letter g and look hold on let me stand up look there's somebody here where is it i just saw it yeah right here look at this <laughs> and i was getting like the beatles energy for a second you know like it's been a hard day's night and i've been working like a dog yeah so i don't know and there's like a person here too you have a couple people here there's somebody else here so you're being seen i don't know they're watching you somewhere you got like two to three people here but the major person has sagittarius placements letter m and yeah there's two opportunities here so definitely you could have three but there's two options here for you Two options. What are you going to choose? Oh, there's only one right choice. What are you going to do? I don't know. You got the crow energy here. So there's definitely an ending of a cycle here. You're ending something with somebody. Yeah, look at this. Hmm. Money, abundance. Maybe it's connected to your money, your finances. That's you're going to meet this person. Or there's like an opportunity here. 
because money's overflowing to you, even though this is a love reading, but yeah, and you got a little heart right here, a little heart bubbles, another heart here. <laughs> so it's like two loves, two loves here. I don't know. What are you doing? Don't do this. You got two loves here. Yeah, you're at a crossroads. What are you guys doing? What is this? You better not. There's an unexpected thing happening here. Scorpio, Aries. This could be happening like all of a sudden. Yeah, you could be a fire sign. Or you're very attractive right now. Very charming. Like, this is how people are seeing you right now. Very sexy AF. Leo Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, your job can be changing. When Maybe you're getting more confident because of your career. The way you look, the way you feel. Maybe you were in hermit mode. But yeah, v Virgo's here now. Maybe this person's in this energy. Like they don't know how to come towards you because you're so bright, you know. You know, or this person's in this energy and, you know, you're very mysterious. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's, you guys are different from each other, but like the same. I don't know. This person's like very attracted to you. They want to get to know you, and you both are holding, like, some kind of pole here. So if this is someone from the past, it's like you guys definitely put boundaries up with each other here. So again, this person's family is very important to them. Something with family here. Maybe they come from money, from wealth. Maybe they have a lot of siblings, like a big family here, big family. And they're very, cro very close to their grandparents. So this, one of these people, I'm telling you, because you have options here. One of these people uh, went through a really bad, hard, hard time, like breakup or hard time in their life that they had to heal from very severely. They could have had addictions or they felt very lonely for a long time, but they feel like they could have this like passion again with you. Especially if you have earth sign. But there's there's definitely an age gap here. Earth and fire is here. Yeah. They see you as someone that is very high level here. You could be a very romantic person. But overall, I feel like this person is very romantic. Very sexy AF. They're going to be very gentle with you. <laughs> you guys could be different from each other. Because I'm seeing that, you know... They both kind of look Asian, but, you know, like Hawaiian here and Asia here. But, you know, Asia, Asian, um, like the culture, like Japanese, I know there's a lot of Japanese people in like um, Hawaii and stuff like that. So it could be something like that where you guys are from like the same thing, but still different type of thing. And you're going to be hearing news about this person. They're going to definitely talk to you. They want to tell you that you're the one for me. You know what I mean? You're you're the one that I've been waiting for. You don't need any other options. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You're this person's brand new beginning here after a really hard time. A really hard ending in their life. And they definitely deal with someone hurting them or cheating on them. Yeah, they're going to talk to you. They're going to tell you all this stuff, by the way. It's not going to be a mystery. They're going to be very honest with you. And they're going to fight for you. They, they want to be with you. Oh my gosh, you have all the aces here. So whatever this is, no matter what, it's a brand new beginning because you're very attractive and people are just drawn to you right now. You're going to have a lot of suitors here. Let's see, what else? Yeah, release your ex. So a lot of you need to release that ex and free yourself. Because you have a lot of new things happening very soon here. Soulmate. You have a soulmate coming towards you and you're going to be expressing your love straight up. Like, that's it. Straight up. Yeah, you have many options, but you have ultimately a soulmate here that you're going to be expressing your love to. You're going to be flirting. And right now, you're in separation with this person. You probably have no idea who I'm talking about, but there's going to be a lot of passion, baby. A lot of love in here. A lot of loving. Honey lover. Oh, look at this. Welcoming love me the one. Welcoming love and meeting the one. Have faith, love is coming. So a lot of you, you're single watching this. You know, you're like, when is love coming? Well, yeah, not just love, but like the one here. 
engagement partnership. You're meeting someone that you're going to go into the next level with. Next level commitment here. Yeah, and see how these two came out together? You're very positive right now. You're you're keeping a positive mindset. You're manifesting things into your reality. You're very abundant right now. And it's attracting someone else from the past that they made the wrong choice. They were definitely a one-sided uh, relationship here. Or they were like a narcissist. They could have love-bombed you, made you feel like you weren't enough. This person's coming back too, so... We already know that. That's what happens. That's how the story is. That person's karmatic here. So you know who I'm talking about to a point. And then you have new love as well. So you could be torn. Chaser. You were dealing with some kind of chaser. Or you were the chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Yeah, and that's what's going on. You don't want to chase anymore. Maybe you were chasing after this person. And they're like, how come this person's not chasing after me anymore? Yeah, because you're, you're in your power now. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. I'm telling you. This person has regrets. Let's see. Reunion. We will always come back to each other. Mm, gossip. I'm afraid of what others will, will think. Unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going. Unappreciated. And absence. Like I just said, I felt like you didn't care. Understanding you guys are connected through past lives. There's someone here that you had a lot of karma with that you need to heal in this life. That's why you feel very connected to this person. Um, one of these people and they, and they keep coming back and forth in your life, but you need to cut the cycle. You need to end it. That's why it's happening over and over and over again. And then for a lot of you, you have a soulmate here. Someone made you feel un unappreciated. That's the person that you you have karmatic debt with, like severe. Like, have you learned the lesson because it's going to keep happening over and over? You're definitely going to hear about this person wanting to come back to you, whoever this is from the past. Yeah, and I left when things got hard. And, and that's exactly what happened with this person. They left when things got hard. Ego, and they let their ego get in the way. Whoever this was. What about that new love, though? Reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. Sabotage. I messed good things up in my life. Detachment and reciprocity. So this person, this new person, they feel like they can get old with you. I feel like they, they might have been um, like a chaser like you in the past. Where they gave too much to somebody else and they messed things up or they felt like they always lost in relationships but they did a lot of healing and now they want equal give and take and they see that with you yeah they feel like you're destined to be together even this person wow that's like really nice crossroads and I feel like this is you. You're at a crossroads. You don't know, oh, should I go to the new person, the old person? But there's a rude awakening here. Yeah, definitely this person's visiting you in your dreams. But you got to use your intuition here. I want you. You're number one. Wow. A lot of fire, a lot of passion here. Be mindful of negative and toxic behavior. Shadow work must be will be necessary here must be necessary soul connection this is a connection between souls that recognize each other from past lives what did i say all right and the whole reason why i did this was to use those little papers because i'm throwing them out and this is gonna be the last reading that i use them so hold on a second i totally forgot thank god i remember right now it's the whole point why i want to do this okay so let's get some characteristics about this person Oh, something's burnt out here. The fire is gone between you and somebody. But maybe they want to strike another shot with you. Somebody, somebody from the past. All right, let's see. Businessman. Big hands. <laughs> Gemini. 
Year of the Ox, Young Woman, Cancer, Beautiful Eyes, Forever Yours, Social Media, One Month, that could be timing, Partnership and Work, that's what I'm saying, you could be meeting this person through work or like a partnership. Short, 41154, starting a new job, Glasses, Middle Eastern, Thailand, Movie theater, hipster, hiding, fighter. Mm. I love you. Oh my gosh. Straight up. Accent, beard, sensitive, lonely, different town, cat lover, twin flames. For some of you, this is your twin flame. Eco friendly. November, so they could be a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, California, African American, Year of the Cat, Handmade, Nice Body, Dog Lover. So this person loves animals, green eyes, letter F, small lips, time to forgive. Trust, Year of the Goat, Japan, man, you guys are going to travel a lot together. That's, that's businesswoman, businessman, businesswoman. Maybe you guys are going to work together on something. Moon, your moon signs could be um, the same or conjunct. They work together very well, 29 to 32 years old, wide eyes, trust, oh, Trust is here, but I thought it said trust, but it says Taurus. So Taurus, letter S, health field, gym, N, meeting online, Florida, spiritual teacher, pale skin, big lips, long lashes, long hair, still in school, adventure, and a maybe. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little reading. Maybe it brought you some clarity or maybe it's about to happen. Who knows, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light. forgot i think this is the second one all right whoever chose this cup let's see what's happening in love so there's distance between you and this person whoever this is and i'm seeing aquarius energy here there's a wish come true here this is somebody you manifested into your reality this is somebody you've been hoping, wishing, praying for. And they are coming. I'm seeing Taurus here, year of the ox, year of the pig. Something's happening. And look, they're watching. This is like giving me like the eye here. They're definitely watching you, whoever this is. You might not be aware of this person. They could be watching you somewhere, maybe like at work or maybe like your daily routine or something. Maybe it, like, for example, if you go to the grocery store, like they, they work there or they're there. Or they're in your neighborhood or something. <laughs> All right, your job. But let's see. Yeah, a lot of Taurus and Year of the Pig here. I'm seeing Year of the Rat. Year of the Snake is here. So Gemini and Capricorn. So this person has like the type of personality where they love working out. They take care of their body. They're into fitness. They're into health, well-being. This is someone that could be like... Um, like plant-based or you know very very spiritual person like they believe in like the earth the, 
the planets, the universe, God, and they feel like you're a gift to them. And they're going to be coming towards you very soon. I'm hearing seven, so seven days, seven weeks, July, Cancer energy here. You will be shown the way. Your spirit guides are leading um, you to this person. So this is a divinely guided connection. This is a very spiritual connection here. You're meant to meet this person and be with this person in this lifetime. I'm hearing hula hoop. So there could be like a hula hoop effect. I'm seeing number eight, year of the goat. Letter H. Leo energy. Aries is here. I'm also seeing Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Letter M and Year of the Pig, yeah. They're definitely rushing through here. There's a mountain. There's an obstacle here, though, that they have to overcome to get to you. I'm seeing a lot of Leo energy here, so they're using their strength to go through this, to go past this. We're going to find out with the cards, like, very soon. There's a lot of gossip here. They could be dealing with, like, family issues right now, or maybe this person has to deal with family and like maybe there's like customs or maybe this person's very traditional where this is going to be hard i'm seeing something with like pisces here so pisces season or the, they feel very intuitively connected to you i'm seeing letter p and number four you're the rabbit aries and a sad face here and number i mean letter n and number 11 here so you're of the dog scorpio maybe they feel like they can't make a move towards you. This is someone that really wants to talk to you. But there's like an obstacle between you and this person for some reason. You're of the horse. They want to be free with this. They really want to come towards you. I'm seeing letter A here. LA. Maybe this person's in LA. Letter G and letter E and number one here. So one month or within this year, this could be happening for you. Letter T as well. Something's definitely happening this year. Letter A. Yeah, the plate's dry. They just want you to know that they're watching you. This person, whoever they are, they're there. They're in the background here. <laughs> so very interesting. Let's see. Okay, so they could be leaving a situation that's toxic right now. That's what they're trying to do. Maybe they're currently right now trying to move. Yeah, something's definitely changing here. Yeah, they're moving away from something. They're closing out a cycle and moving away. They're closing a chapter in their life and moving. Yeah, they could be a water sign or they're very emotionally stable right now. They could be um, trying to get emotionally stable at two. You know what I mean? Like if this is someone that went through a hard time, they had to really focus on themselves and do a lot of self-love, self-care to heal. Especially if they're a single parent here or they have baggage. They definitely have to heal through this. But I'm seeing them coming towards you with love offer here. Very romantic person. Yeah, they definitely ended something very toxic. But they feel very blessed as well. They're not the type of person that's like, oh, this happened to me. Oh, you know, why did this happen? No, they're like, all right, that happened. I learned from it and I'm moving on. Like It made them stronger. Like something so dark brings the lightness. Yeah, they went through some kind of dark night of the soul. And I'm hearing you're going to be proud of me. Like for some reason, you're going to be proud of this person. They could have Virgo placements. They're very happy. Even if they're older, they look younger. You know, they always stay in like a youthful way. Their inner child is very happy too. And they could be... um a lot of earth and water placements here. Year of the ox, year of the horse. Yeah, a lot of earth and water placements. They also see you as someone that can heal them as well. Like you have a very healing touch. You could be someone that's very intuitive, very, you know, psychic. You could be an empath. This is the king of pentacles. This is someone that's financially stable and secure. This is someone that's going to bring security in your life. Like this person, once they're set in stone, that's it. And they're coming here. Very beautiful. Wow. This person is awesome. But there's an obstacle 
for some reason with their family or something. Yeah, wedding rings. This person sees you as like marriage material here. That's what I'm saying. Once they come to you, it's very serious. It's not like just dating here. This person's not the type of person to like hook up and whatever. This person's not like that. They're very serious. They take relationships very serious. They take marriage very serious. Yeah, stability, security, permanence. This is a permanent connection here. Yeah, and it's happening very quickly with the lightning. Sudden change, shocking news. This is going to come after like being stabbed in the back. So this person most likely got stabbed in the back by somebody. It ended like very severe. Or you're going to be again stabbed in the back by somebody here. It's going to be a very painful time for you. But after all that, it's going to lead to some kind of partnership with this person. There was definitely a breakup here, a separation. Yeah. For a very, very small percentage, you already know who this is. You had a breakup separation with this person, but I, I think most of you, it's new. It's someone new, and it's the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is true love here. Love of a lifetime. Like, wow. I love that. Yeah, express your love. Very loving connection. You deserve love. You could have Sagittarius placements and calling in your soulmate. That's who this is. This is like a soulmate here. Engagement again. You're definitely going to be in a, a long-term relationship with this person. That could lead to marriage. It's going to be a long-term relationship here. Yeah, and the sex is going to be amazing here. A lot of you deal with someone that just wanted sexual things from you. Or this person, their last partner, it was just a, a very sexual thing. With you, that's going to be very emotional. Like, you're still going to be sexually, like, passionate and everything. But with you, it's deeper than that. That's why whatever happened with this person in their past, it never lasted. It's not you, it's me. They deal with people that were flaky. You know, maybe they cheated onto them and, like you know, left them hanging and stuff like that. And they've been hoping, wishing, praying for someone like you. They definitely separated from someone that was very toxic here. That's why it took a long time because this person went through very hurtful things. Yeah, and they'd been doing a lot of self-love. A lot of self-love, a lot of self-care. And you were, you are too, you were too. Irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. That's how I'm telling you. That's how this person feels about you, or will, or will, feel about you. Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Maybe this person took a long ass time, you know, and they're a little bit worried, but they're still gonna come towards you. They're daydreaming about you. I am always longing for you. This person's coming, but you know they're an earth sign. They take their time. They're very grounded, and once they make a decision, that's it. That's how they are. So this, this person you could have been waiting for for a long time. You definitely have past life connection with this person. Yeah, hope. I haven't given up hope on us. This person, I'm telling you, they've been literally waiting for someone. Yeah, unexpected outcome. Yeah, things didn't go the way I planned. So I feel like, yeah, self-love again. So this person... Maybe they thought they would never be in a relationship again with somebody or be in a serious thing. And then they meet you and then they, they're like, you you blow them away. Like they love you. They're beyond anything. And it's because you guys have a connection through past lives. This is your soulmate here. Past life soulmate. This is like really beautiful here. So let's get some characteristics about this person. Year of the monkey, New Jersey, year of the pig, 33 to 37 years old, plant-based. I said that, didn't I say that? Online influencer, handsome, risk taker, older woman, European, public eye. That's, what that's the obstacle here. Maybe they're in the public eye breakup and they had a breakup in the public eye. You know, that's like severe. That's scary. You know, that, you know, you kind of have to be careful here. I mean, not not you, but I'm saying this person has to be careful because it's, you know, maybe they're in the public eye and maybe they don't, they want to make sure that everything's good before they introduce you. Or this could be someone that's high level, you know, where there's a paparazzi or something. I don't know. 
you know so get let this person this person knows what to do i'm telling you let let them they they know the steps here i'm here and let me take the lead piercings muscles wow this person has piercings and muscles they could have their nipples pierced or something like family friend true true love yeah you have that twice wish being granted forgiven red hair three months so that could be a time frame lgbtq if you're into that or that's you or whatever or this person older man bare skin asian wealthy bisexual so there is some kind of thing like that but not for everybody take what resonates it's for a lot of people blonde hair i need you different city x trying to return for some of you, you have an x here rap music and you're gonna forgive this person italy extrovert loves chocolate i already know you <laughs> forever young smoker and i'm hearing cannabis so they could be like a like they could smoke pot and stuff like that letter b let the past go so for some of you you're gonna let the past go old love here you're gonna let the past go chef maybe this person's a chef single straight edge nice peach so you have a nice butter they have a nice butt year of the dragon overseas there's another match here what's going on here so something the spark between somebody's done it's it's dead it's over with sporty strong brows hardcore maybe they're in the hardcore scene or they like that music they Maybe they do that, like they, them, or whatever. You're meeting them in a group. Emotional, one year. So maybe that's a difference, a one year difference between you and this person. Thin, soulmate, dreaming of you. Gambler, young man, and curly hair. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste, love and light. three i'm here and you're special here something this person feels like you're special they feel like it's a blessing that they met you here oh yeah you guys got like the hurricane plate so this person could live around like hurricane areas or whatever or this is going to be like cut, rushing in like really quickly here chinese ear of the goat i'm seeing an elephant here so this person could have like a large family or they love their family, they're very close to their family. And I'm here on abundance and wealth. So they could be coming from wealth and money here. I'm seeing Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aries. Yeah, this person's the emperor here. 175 is here. And I'm here and that's like an area code. So that could be an area code. I'm getting like a lot of scientists, like math energy. So maybe this person's like a scientist or a mathematician or a teacher of something. Sagittarius is here and Cancer. Chinese ear of the snake. And there's news coming with this person. There's definitely a lot of news here. And spirit is pointing you in the right direction here with this. There's a completion of a cycle year of the goat capricorn energy here and also this person could play the flute because there's music letter p letter letter j letter a and number two year of the ox aquarius and this person's like looking out there's a butterfly here so they're watching you transform and i'm seeing number three here letter g and 46 hmm. year of the dog 
yeah, there's definitely like um, cancer energy, like the snappers. I'm seeing like a crab <laughs> and a lobster. I don't know. That's that's interesting. So this person's very sensitive, very emotional. Like this person, if they're a man, like they're super emotional. You know what I mean? Like they're always gonna tell you how they feel, but they're still like masculine and stuff. But like, they're not like toxic masculine. Like they still have like like they're they'll tell you how they feel and you know be very honest with you, very genuine very loving, very compassionate, and they're going to want to please you. You know what I'm saying? Like in the bedroom, baby. Letter L, twice. So before you meet this person, there's definitely going to be some kind of like move or tower moment in your life that's going to be very severe. You're going to like hit rock bottom. And it's all part of your spiritual journey here. That's what I'm seeing. And then what's going to happen is as you go through your transition, like your I'm here in third party, so maybe you're ending some kind of third party situation. You're of the cat slash rabbit 5172. But yeah, after that, you're going to be getting some kind of insight about this person. You're going to start having dreams about this person. You're going to connect more on the 5D first, and then this person is going to come in. Something with the eyes here. So like, they either have like eye problems or like they wear glasses, something they have sensitive eyes here. And I am seeing a lot of cancer energy here, like a lot. Letter B, letter R. This person definitely wants to move forward with you. And I'm seeing spirit is divinely guiding you towards this person. They're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities about you. They are. And this person loves like looking at the sky and they, they like learning about like the universe and like how things work and like i'm telling you like very structured scientific things and like a lot of science stuff i'm getting like a lot of virgo libra you know gemini type of thing like they aquarius like they like to know more like scorpio i'm getting like very um sen sensual very sexual person Ooh. Yeah, and I'm here and I want to bend you over. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. But yeah, I'm seeing like an event here where, because I'm seeing a suit and tie. So maybe this person likes wearing suits and ties. Or this there's a formal event where you're going to meet this person. Chinese ear of the rooster. Chinese ear of the rabbit. And Leo energy here. This person could be a realtor too, which is interesting. Yeah. And um, they went through a lot. They went through a lot of shit. When this person tells you the stuff they went through, because they will, you're going to be like, wow, and you're such a nice person and you went through all that shit. But I'm telling you, you're going to be like blown away. Chinese ear of the goat. Okay, this is dried. There's something with like a step stool here. So it's like there could be a height difference or this person goes by steps here you know what I mean? you know what i mean like they don't just rush into stuff like they think about it they, they take the steps here chinese ear of the dragon is here and they're gonna get some kind of inspiration to come towards you like some kind of in intuition is gonna tell them like this is the right person they're gonna know when they meet you that you're special somehow they, they know that you're meant to be in their life but maybe they're not like super spiritual, but they're going to be like, there's something important about this person. Yeah, because you guys are from the same soul tribe here. That's what it is. Yeah, you guys are definitely from the same soul tribe. That's what it is. They might not know what that means. Yeah, this is going to be unexpected. This person's avoiding a tower moment here too. They're avoiding a change in their life. But once they go through this or you go through this, that's when the doors are going to open. That's when this victory is going to come in. Yeah, and there needs to be a cycle that's going to close here. They need to end something. And maybe they're afraid. But on the other side of it is, you know, this this great new beginning here. Yeah, with you. The world. You guys are going to be so happy together. Like, very happy. You don't know who this person is. They're a secret admirer. Maybe they don't want to be revealed yet. And you're just, you know, waiting you know, you're waiting for a change. You're waiting for this change to happen here. A lot of you are waiting for a job change too. 
something to change with your finances and that's coming very soon and that's what's connected to this person as well yeah nine of coins a lot of you are single right now and you're going to go into a time of abundance and this person's watching you transform i'm telling you where they're going to they're going to reveal themselves when you're actually really good with your money your finances you're very abundant you're enjoying your life yeah the lovers this person's a lover here they could have earth placements gemini virgo taurus capricorn yeah they're coming towards you with a beautiful offer here there could be an age gap but you're the one that that could tame this person's feelings and stuff like that because maybe they're very heavy like you could be a very light energy and this person could have like a lot of darkness but like not a lot of people can handle this person but you can you know what i'm saying like they look at you like wow you can you can deal with me you can handle me you'll you'll be there through thick and thin yeah because maybe a lot of people see this person as like a snake like someone that's very intimidating very strong and powerful but you you make this person like you know very romantic and loving here chinese year of the snake is here you're the dragon you're of the monkey you're of the horses here but yeah this person is very attracted to you and they i'm telling you they they are very drawn to you because you're destined and fated to be together i'm telling you that's what this is but they're avoiding a, a change here or you are but i'm here and i'm all in so someone's all in yeah maybe it's a habit i don't know if i'll if i will ever change maybe they're trying to fight addictions right now or something hmm. space i need more time to think unsatisfied reciprocity yeah they feel okay this makes a lot of sense this could be you too you know maybe you want a relationship but you're nervous maybe you feel like you need more time you know this person could be completely different than you and, and that, that worries you like are we going to get along is this going to last will this be okay maybe i need more time also this person is going to respect your time they're going to respect your space they're not going to force you to do anything you know they they really take this very serious here and i i'm hearing pinky promise so when this person promises you something it's for real like it's true because other relationships left you unsatisfied here and that's how this person feels too like they they took a lot of time to heal and they were single for a long time too because they didn't want to they were so hurt yeah because a lot of people they dealt with they were always secretive they never told them like the truth or they were never emotionally available with this person a lot of you this person felt like always alone even with this person or whoever they were with in the past they still always felt like alone. And that's sad. A lot of you are going to be hearing about this person. It's a secret. It's coming to light now. Mend, I want to fix our connection. For some of you, maybe you already know this person and you're going to be hearing like through the grapevine that this person wants to, you know, talk to you. They want to hit you up. Maybe it's been a while. They want to mend something here. But yeah, somebody wants forgiveness here. For some of you. For a lot of you, this is like new love, you know, new person. They're mending their feelings, their heart. So that they're able to open up to you. Because this person maybe doesn't really date a lot. You know what I mean? Maybe they're focused on their career, their work. Yeah, they had to cut off a lot of people in their life, in their past. They set boundaries because they were so loving and giving. They had to, they were getting taken advantage of, for real. Grateful. They feel so grateful now that they met someone like you. Yeah, a lot of fire, a lot of Leo energy here. Capricorn, Scorpio. Yeah, there's something where, hold on. Card fell on the floor. Yeah, this is an intense connection. Yeah, and look, it says focus on yourself. Yeah, this person's been focused on focusing on their self. Something with the brain here. Maybe they, they do science with like the brain, brain cells, stem cells, I'm hearing. But they feel a, an intense connection with you. Yeah, I need space. Yeah, and I love you both. I feel like this person was always in like third parties or they just didn't know how to be in a healthy relationship. But they will know. And they're ready now, very soon. They're coming. 
very soon. Finances and career. This person's very financed and career person. You know? Maybe they're not really good at love or they weren't in the past. That's why they would always get fooled. Or people would take advantage of them. Maybe because, you know, they were easy to take advantage of. This person's a very free spirit, too. This is a really nice person. Something about past lives here. Release your ex. So they definitely had someone that they had to release to free themselves from this person because they were like in a third party or something like that with this person. Let your friends help you. They asked their friends for advice <laughs> about that. You know what I'm saying? Worth waiting for. They also are talking to their friends about you. Because maybe this person was like stuck on their ex, but they freed themselves from this person. And now they're being drawn to you. They're talking to their friends about you. Like, hey, I met this person or I saw this person, la la. And they feel like very drawn to you, like a lot of chemistry. It could be connected through past lives. Could be. But they just feel like they know you like really well. Not today. Not dealing. For some of you, if this is someone that you already know, maybe you cut this person off. Because maybe they had problems, they had addictions, maybe they were codependent, or you were codependent on this person and you tried healing with it. Yeah, this was a heartbroken energy here. Or this was someone that they were dealing with, or that they're still currently dealing with some kind of ex or something that keeps messaging them, won't leave them alone. And maybe they feel still connected to this person, like in a toxic way. But they always end up being heartbroken. Now, they're not answering the phone. Now they're not dealing with this person. They're making healthy choices now. They're wor they're working on themselves and they're ready for a new relationship here. Yeah, relationship evolving to the next phase. And that's their energy. Yeah, because they were definitely dealing with a karmatic relationship before, heartbroken energy here. They had to cut this out. Yeah. So they see you as someone that has a many options. They see you as someone that's a heartbreaker as well. So maybe they don't want to get hurt. Maybe they're going to test the waters with you, right? So let's see. And look, the candle went out. So this is definitely something that's over. You know, something's going to be completely done with this pet shop. So if they were dealing with an ex, it's completely done now. You don't have to worry about it. Park, year of the dog meeting the one so a lot yeah number one this is the one that you're gonna end up with like this is the one here dark skin small eyes they check mark all your boxes aries famous tan skin it's over year of the snake aquarius regular libra Ocean, Capricorn, Year of the Rat, Gifted, 25 to 28, Virgo, Junk Food, In the Winter, Musician, Meeting in Two Weeks, Abandon, Best Friend, Toned, Large Nose, Blue Eyes, Letter R, brown eyes crazy color like they could have like a you know they dye their hair like crazy colors and stuff like colorful hair almond eyes artistic loves makeup maybe they're very creative letter h i'm sorry new york letter m new love unique work pisces letter l check mark again so you both check mark each other's boxes here indian divine feminine letter m again so this person could have two m's in their name year of the tiger straight hair small hands self-love nerdy spicy food gay for some of you not everybody but maybe you know if you're into that or whatever no so maybe you're going to say no to somebody military army Traveler, short hair, organ, meat eater, letter E, 
different country, event celebration, destined, I'm telling you, different than you, calm, 19 to 24, Leo, Portugal, Amber Eyes, heartbroken, that's that heartbroken energy, ready, they're ready now, Brage, Dreads, letter Q, very tall, six to seven feet tall, and love. Now their their hearts healed now. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know. Comment down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.